In this video, I'm going to show you how to create wind lines like you see in games like the Wind Waker. All right, first we're going to start by making a plane by hitting Shift A, Mesh Plane. And we're going to tab into Edit Mode and scale it down. And then we can scale a bit on one axis. And extrude a few times to create a basic shape. So there are a few different shapes that you will often see, such as a little swirl like this, or more of a wave, which will be like that. And they can all be made in pretty easy ways. So I'm going to select each of these edges and hit Control B and scroll up to bevel. Maybe do a little bit more. And then hit smooth shading. And then I'm also going to add another plane. And again, similarly, scale it down. I can hide this one. I think I... And scale on the X. And add uh, probably three loop cuts. Make one go up another go down select bevel and we have one like this you might also have another shape that'll be like a little spiral so add a plane scale it down scale in the X And extrude on the Z, extrude on the X, extrude Z, X, Z. And we can select each of these edges. Bevel. Make it smooth. All right, maybe we can probably improve this a bit by um, selecting each of these. Maybe use a circle select, select them easier, lowering it down a little, make it a little bit more round. Maybe uh, maybe scaling on the Y a little make it skinnier. Next, we're going to have to unwrap each of these. So hit U, uh, tab, U, unwrap. And show these two. Tab, U, unwrap, and unwrap. Then I'm gonna go into my UV editing workspace. In my UV editing workspace, I'm going to go ahead and scale these to 0.1 and make sure that they're all going in the same direction. <laughs> I can then export them all. Importing them, make sure auto generate collision is turned off and make sure that combine meshes Combine meshes is also turned off so that they import as separate meshes. Then we're going to go hit new material and add one called M wind lines. 
And I'm going to add this to each of these real quick. Afterwards, I'm going to go and add one of these, one of each of these into the environment. All right, I'm going to go and open up win lines. And I'm going to first set to two sided, unlit, and then turn the blend mode to additive. I'm then going to add a generate band. I'll put this into emissive color. I will grab one of these. and hit the teapot. Now, this span is going the wrong way in this case, so we're gonna go and get a stack bull, check true on it, and put it into the direction switch, which will change the direction it's going. And now, we'll see that this is lit up white. We're also going to want to add by pressing one while clicking, we're gonna add a value that'll be the sharpness, which we're gonna to set to one to make it nice and sharp. In your game, you might want it less sharp based off your style, but I'll have it set to sharp. Next, I'm going to go ahead and add a scalar parameter by pressing S1 clicking. I'm gonna call this width. I'm going to set it to like 0.1. Next for the offset, we're going to add a panner. And we're going to mask it by one. And we're going to add a speed value, which will be 0.15, I believe. Will work nicely. And we'll throw that in there. Maybe a faster speed, 0.3 maybe, and it does that. Up it a little faster even. All right, so this is our base, but the problem is every time that they go, they go at the same time. So we're going to want these to go at different times. To simulate random, unless we're just going to use the object's position, object position rolled space. And we're going to mask one of them and simply add it here. And add that to the offset. So now they're going at different times. That was Mr. Tripie, and thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please like, subscribe, and maybe leave a comment. Thank you.